Hello everyone, I'm Mary McCabe from Northern Ireland, Downpatrick. Thank you all so much for joining us in this online event, the Celtic Songbirds. I want to thank in particular Robert and Daisy for organising this and asking me to take part. I'm going to sing some arias, some art songs and maybe even an Irish tune or two. I uh, hope you enjoy. Oh, mm -hmm. 
Maria Healy and I am a soprano from County Down in Ireland and you are very welcome to join me for another live stream concert here with Celtic Songbirds. Um, you're very welcome to my music room which is a place where I spend a lot of time at, at home and also thank you very much for once again inviting me into your home. Now that first piece was called The Voice and it was a successful winner for Ireland in the Eurovision Song Contest back in 1996. And Ireland does still hold the record for having won the competition the most time. So I think we, we could be JOE win fairly soon again. Now my next piece is it's a song that I featured in my first album entitled I Have a Love and it's a beautiful Irish piece called The Last Rose of Summer. <laughs> piece and again you can hear me performing that in my first album I Have a Love which is available on iTunes and Spotify and all of the, the major platforms. Now this next piece isn't particularly Irish however it does have a beautiful ethereal quality about it and I first heard this piece performed by the soprano Charlotte Church in one of her earlier albums and it's called Dream a Dream. <laughs>
thank you. And that is such a beautiful piece to, to perform. I hope it was beautiful to listen to also. Now my next piece is an Irish piece and it was made famous by the singer Mary Black and also the group and um, the chorus and it's called No Frontiers. A beautiful song to sing. Now moving from Ireland to France where the basis of my next song is and it was made famous by the wonderful singer Edith Piaf and the song's called If You Love Me.
you. It's such a beautiful song, which will, I will be featuring on my next album. Now, I'd like to take this opportunity to um, thank my sound man for the day, who is my husband, Peter. So everybody say hi to Peter. <laughs> now, also, I'd like to pay tribute to all of the other Celtic songbirds who are performing today and also to the wonderful, our wonderful patron, uh, Mr. Robert Scullin, who has created this wonderful songbirds family and a global family that it is and a wonderful family to be part of. So thank you, Robert, once again. Now, sadly, I've come to my last piece. But it's I performed this at my uh, during my last Songbirds livestream concert, and it was one that you all said you really really enjoyed, and it's a fun piece, and it's called Art is Calling for Me. <laughs> And if you'd like to hear more of my music, please do follow me on social media, on uh, my Instagram, my Twitter and Facebook. So once again, bye bye. Hi, hello everyone. You're very, very welcome to my home here in County Meath in Ireland. My name is Siobhan McAleese and I'm absolutely delighted to be performing today for you as part of this beautiful Celtic Songbird concert. Um, 
I have a lovely mix for you today and really look forward to singing them for you and to also uh, tell you a little bit more about myself. But I hope first and foremost that you have a comfortable seat. Um, you've already enjoyed the first two of the songbirds and you've had a whole uh, number of hours to go yet, which is just fantastic. So without further ado, I'm going to start into the very first number because I do have a real mix of musical theatre and uh, movie music and some classical numbers in there too. But this first one comes from um, Queen and it is none other than uh, Who Wants to Live Forever, but I'm going to sing it for you today in Italian and it's known as Che mai vivrà per sempre. Non c'è tempo ormai, non c'è più tempo per noi. known as Who Wants to Live Forever by Queen. I'm just going to take a little sip of water. And, um, I'm going to lift up my cards because these uh, keep me on track. So um, I can get rid of the first card, which is great. Um, but uh, thank you for that. And I'm imagining um, my two little children are here in the room with me. They're not at the moment for obvious reasons. Uh, I have a two-year-old boy called Dylan, and he would love none the, uh, more than sit at the piano and take part in this live stream. So um, I decided it's best to, to keep them well and tr uh, truly away from this room. But I'm imagining that um, Dylan is here and Maisie, my five-year-old daughter, uh, that they're in the room with me, giving me that little round of applause that they normally do when I'm singing around the house. So, um, I'll yeah, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit more, uh, as I say, about myself as we move through the concert. But I am a mum, a mum of two. I'm married to Matt and we live here out in the countryside. And you'll probably hear maybe some cars or see some cars, maybe even a, a tractor or two. Um, going by so hopefully that doesn't um, I suppose take away from where we are but needs must and all that when when uh, you're doing these uh, streams from home so um, I just wanted to take this opportunity as well before I go into the second song and to thank um, the man uh, who is responsible for uh, I suppose making this happen for me today 
Robert Scullin, thank you so much for your invitation to come and perform as part of this, as part of this beautiful concert. I am really um, privileged, as I say, to, to be here and to be singing in such a, a lineup of female artists, many of, of whom I've been following for quite a number of years, so to be among them is, is just unreal. Um, for those of you who don't know Robert, and I don't know Robert myself, but um, he contacted me, Robert contacted me from Australia and uh, via social media and uh, asked me would I like to come on and it didn't take me long to, to say yes. So thank you once again, Robert. So um, without further ado, I thought I would introduce to you the first of our Irish composers. And I have a few things written on my card and see, do you know who um, I may be talking about or what the song is? So this particular song was nominated for a Golden Globe, um, an Academy Award and a Grammy Award. It was composed in 2001 for the film Lord of the Rings. Have you guessed it? Well, it is, in fact, may it be by our very own Enya from Lord of the Rings. May it be an evening star shines down upon you. May it be as timeless as your heart would be
And uh, that was the beautiful May It Be by Enya. Just taking another sip. Um, but that, that piece for me has this gorgeous message of togetherness. And I guess it's just a lovely, um, it's a lovely song to sing, especially at these times when we're maybe not together with our family or our friends, especially in Ireland at the moment, we're going through um, a level five lockdown, the highest of all the levels. So it is tough, it's hard, and um, it's the same for us all around the world. Um, we're all dealing with this COVID um, as best we can, but the, the main thing is that you're, you're staying safe and you're keeping well and, and communicate and keep chatting to people and um, stay in touch. So. I hope you got that sentiment from that song. Um, I'm lifting up my cards again. And uh, just on that, I'd, uh, do you know what? It would be wonderful to know exactly where everyone is, I suppose, tuning in from all over the world. If you have that opportunity and you can let us know, it would be fantastic. Um, I'll be on after this, after my singing, I'll definitely be online and I'll uh, be reading up on the comments and I'd love to interact. So I'm sure um, the other ladies that are performing here today as well would love to know who's tuning in and from where, because it is such a wonderful thing to be able to do for us to be able to do for you. So uh, do, do keep in touch, that would be lovely. Um, <coughs> so I'm gonna sing for you my next song. And um, this one is, again, another beautiful song and really apt for this time. And it has a beautiful message of hope. And it is from the film, or musical, I should say, West Side Story, which I think is a film as well, but um, the musical West Side Story is how I know it. And it is called Somewhere. I hope you enjoy. I'll take one more sip. <laughs> Time 
Yes, I love that one. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Um, n- really does sort of speak to us in terms of, you know, staying together and keeping that hope and keeping that faith. Well, moving on, um, just in terms of myself, as I say, this is my first ever online concert performance that I've ever, ever done. So there's been great excitement here in the house um, with my five-year-old Maisie and um, her. I suppose she's knowing that mommy's going to be singing six songs today and... Um, you know, we're just checking what am I going to wear and how will I do my hair and how will I do my makeup. So um, it feels like I've uh, had to get ready for a wedding. So it's been a lovely, lovely experience. So again, thank you, Robert Scullin, for making this happen. Um, but I, I've loved music. I've always loved music. I studied it in, it was my favourite s- subject in school and I studied it in college. Um, and I'm classically trained on the piano so I have my piano here um I only in the last year and a half um started to get my voice trained by a beautiful beautiful woman uh, Deirdre Shannon and Deirdre for some of you that may not know Deirdre but Deirdre was the very first in the group of um Celtic woman and she has sung on oh my goodness the biggest stages around the world so I'm soaking up everything I learned from Deirdre and Deirdre if you're tuning in hello and um, thank you so much for everything Deirdre and all that you teach me um, I just I, l- I love you know I love our lessons and um, it's so brilliant that we can do them online so um, yeah that's that's sort of I suppose the background and then oh there's lots lots more that I could talk about myself but uh, we don't have all day I have to keep an eye on the time um and i'm going to now i suppose sing um the next song and introduce the next of our irish composers um this one was written as a duet and it was um nominated and then won for best original song at the 80th academy awards and it's featured on the soundtrack of the 2007 Irish musical film, Once. And it is, of course, the beautiful song, uh, Falling Slowly, and it's composed by Glenn Hansard and Marketa Irglova. I hope I pronounced that uh, name right. And I'd love to dedicate this song, uh, Falling Slowly, to all of you that are tuning in around the world today um it just means so much to have your support so thank you thank you so much and here it is
That was uh, the beautiful Falling Slowly by our very own Glenn Hansard from the movie film Once. So, um, <clears throat> I suppose, um, just in terms of the next song that I'm going to sing for you, it's actually an aria moving into sort of the classical um, side of things now. And this particular aria really, I suppose, means... It means so much to me because of the journey that I've been on um, last year uh, before I had surgery for the benign tumour on my pituitary gland. And um, while I was dealing with all of that and uh, I suppose learning about, you know, what medication I may need and uh, dealing with all the all the symptoms that came from that illness, O Mio Babino Caro was the one um, piece of music that I kept returning to time and time again. And I wanted to make sure that I knew it um, and learnt it. And I sung it, I don't know how many times, um, but I'm still so in love with it from like the moment I had heard it. So it means an awful lot to me, this particular aria. And I'm going to sing it for you now. And um, it's by Puccini, and I'm sure you know it. was the, the beautiful O Mio Babino Caro and um, I suppose the story behind O Mio Babino Caro it's about a young woman probably 14 15 years of age and um, it's her plea to her father to go and marry this man that she's fallen in love with and her father has said no 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 <laughs> you're going to go back and play with your dolls and um she threatens then to jump off a bridge if she doesn't get her way. And then in the end, she pleads and pleads and pleads. And she does, I think, get her way. So that was the beautiful um, O Mio Babino Caro by Puccini. And as I say, it really, really does uh, mean so much to me that that uh, 
that aria um so i hope you enjoyed it and um i see now i'm just looking at the time and it's almost time to finish up um i've got one more uh song in the bag one more uh tune and i'm just going to take this opportunity now to say my thank you again sincerely to robert scullin and all the team behind this uh songbird concert series thank you so much for having me it's been an absolute delight and a pleasure and i look forward to hopefully seeing you all again soon stay safe stay well look after each other and um yeah that's it from me i'm going to leave you now with Nessun Dorma and hopefully I will hear you <laughs> from all around the world joining in with me. Thank you again everybody. Take care. Take one more sip. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>
much for joining me for the Celtic Songbirds live stream. I hope you're all enjoying the concert so far. Hasn't it just been wonderful? <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that first song. Um, it was, of course, You Raise Me Up which was um, originally written by Norwegian Irish duo Secret Garden, but made very famous by one and only Westlife. Um, yeah, so it's a song about strength and power. I think we all need a little bit of strength and power just now, don't we? <laughs> so thank you again for joining me. Um, so this is the Celtic Songbirds um, live stream. So I am going to be featuring songs um, that are both Irish and Scottish. Um, I myself am I'm Scottish. Um, I've got a little bit of tartan here with me today. Can anyone else guess what kind of tartan it is? It just so happens to be my married name. <laughs> So this next I song I have for you um, is a song which is very close to my heart um, because it does always remind me of home um, and it means so much to so many of us Scots and I hope you enjoy it. It's called Caledonia.
you so much again for joining me. I really hope that you're enjoying it and thanks for all your lovely comments so far. I will get back to them shortly. Um, yes, yeah, so this next song that I have for you um, was originally written by an alternative rock band that is based um, in Scotland, but they're an Irish-Scottish duo. Um, I love this song um, and I love the band. The band is called Snow Patrol and it was actually made very famous by um, the one and only Leona Lewis. So I hope you enjoy it. This is my version of Run.
well I really hope you're enjoying the concert so far so thank you so much for tuning in to watch me thank you <laughs> so um, this next song I have for you is actually my own song um, it's available to buy I'm doing a little bit of plug in here <laughs> it's available to buy on all platforms you can stream it on Spotify and everything else um, yeah so it was actually the written for me um, by singer-songwriter, um, Scottish singer-songwriter I should say, um, Sandy Tom, um, when we worked together um, a few years ago. Um, it's a song which has really brought everything um, into perspective for me this year. Um, it really is a song um, about missing loved ones, but knowing that we will be together again somewhere in time. So it's based on the classical music piece um, Claire de Lune by Debussy, and I really hope you enjoy it. It's called Somewhere in Time. Um, 
Yeah, so since this is um, Celtic Songbirds um, live stream, um, I thought I would do um, another little Scottish number for you. Um, so this song, I believe, maybe controversially, <laughs> um, should be um, the national anthem um, for Scotland. Um, I absolutely love it. It's featured at many major events that we have here, whether it be football, rugby, weddings, New Year, you name it. So um, as I come to the, towards the end of my concert, um, I thought I would do this song for you. Um, it's a good little finisher. I hope you enjoy it and sing along if you know it. This is called Highland Cathedral. Scottish, it did feature in the Scottish film Highlander. So I really hope that you enjoy this. It's all about making the most of the life that you have and love as much as you can. It's called Who Wants to Live Forever.
me to the end of my concert. I really hope that you have enjoyed it. It's been an absolute pleasure to be here. And thank you so much again to Robert for organising it. And thank you so much to Daisy, who's been working very hard in the background, putting all these videos together. So thank you so much. Would you like one more? Good, because I just so happen to have one more prepared. <laughs> So again, this song is not um, in any way a Celtic song, I'm sorry, but um, this song um, has a very Scottish meaning to me because, I don't know if you know this, but um, a few years ago I won, um, well a few many years ago now, I won a prestigious award um, called the Radio Trust Search for Star Awards down in London. But the night that I won, it was like all the stars aligned because the night I won was in fact Burns Night. So I feel like it has a real Scottish connection for me, this song. It's a song about looking back on the past with a smile, but looking forward to new horizons. This is Conte Partio, time to say goodbye.
joining me and thank you so much for watching at home. Until next time, thank you. Bye. <laughs>
This song is the title song from the musical by Andrew Lloyd Webber called Love Never Dies. What makes it start? One day is simply there, alive inside your heart. It slips into your thoughts, it infiltrates your soul, it takes you by surprise, then seizes full control. Try to deny it and try to protest. But love won't let you go once you've been possessed. Love never dies. Love never falters. bigger than your own. It uses you at whim and guides you to despair and forces you to feel more joy than you can bear. Love brings you pleasure and love brings you pain. And yet, when both are gone,
This song is a very, very famous love song which is played at weddings all the time. It's one of my favourites because it's quite a jazzy number and it's something different than the rest of them. This is At Last by Etta James. This song is called Dreaming of the Days by Catherine Jenkins. It's a piece that has been written over the piano music to I Journey. I hope you enjoy it. Not knowing 
I'm now going to sing The Parting Glass, which is a traditional Celtic song usually sung at the end of a gathering with friends. It was brought into the Celtic world by Liam Clancy and has been sung widely ever since. This is my own version of it and I hope you enjoy it. Bye. 
parting glass. Good night and joy be with you all. So fail to me the parting glass. Good night and joy. I'm delighted to be able to sing to you my debut single, Tell Me I'm Not Dreaming. This is available on all music platforms to be able to download, so I hope you enjoy this one. I hold my breath and close my eyes. I've never felt so alive with everything. I've been through Every road's been worth The journey here to you Just as I so much for everybody today for watching the songbirds concert with me daisy in northern ireland and um, i'm absolutely privileged to be sharing the stage with such amazing talented women and i hope you all have enjoyed the show so far and continue to watch and uh, make sure to check me out on facebook instagram twitter and my website daisyconwaymusic.co.uk 
Make sure you see my new single, Tell Me I'm Not Dreaming, on Spotify and other streaming platforms. And stay safe, everybody. Um, thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.